Welcome to Flash Tutorial, Request 56, Crossword Puzzle. This is a beginner's tutorial, meaning I'll do some explaining of what's going on. Start by opening a new FLA. Keep an action script 3. My width is 550, my height is 400. 24 frames a second. And I got a background color white. Clicking on Timeline, close my Properties panel, and I'm going to start off by viewing the grid, show grid, then view again, grid, edit grid, and I want to make them each of these blocks 50 pixels by 50. 50 by 50, okay. put this on 50% so we can see the whole thing call this first layer grid G R I D this grid isn't seen when we do when we run the movie or to run the video so I want to make my own grid for my crossword puzzle on this one I'm going to pick up the straight line tool I'm going to select black here in this what's called the stroke open the properties panel make sure I have one pixel and I'm going to draw a straight line here down the page. Don't worry about how big it is right now. Click on it. Get that right there. Click on it. Open the properties panel. We want the X position to be 0. And the Y position to be 0. So that puts it right on that line and I want the width to be that's the stroke make sure this link is unlocked and make it 400 high and now it fits exactly on that while it's highlighted get that cross hairs right click copy paste in place and using my arrow keys I'm just dragging that down well let's actually just go up here to the to the X position and put in 400. Save some time. Now you see it's still copied. Right click, right click, paste in place. Using your arrow keys, move it over a bit. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more of these. Paste in place, arrow it over a little bit, that's two. Paste in place, that's three paste in place that's four doesn't matter where these are paste in place that's five paste in place six paste in place seven so I think that's all I need click here highlight all of them so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine that's right open up the alignment panel the alignment panel in my case is docked right here if not open windows up and there is something called the alignment panel click on that and you'll get this alignment panel I want them distributed horizontal to center and there they are horizontally distributed so I'll undo that for a minute right here this would be vertical which would be that way this would be distribute them horizontal and what it does, it looks at this one here, and this one here, and then even spaces the ones in between. In our case, it should put them right on those lines. You click on any one of them to get that, get on any one of them to get that cross here. Right click, copy. So in this case, I'm copying all of them. Call this grid vertical, capital V, lock it, insert a layer, call it grid horizontal G R I D H select that first frame come down here right click paste in place now I just want to rotate them go up here to modify transform rotate 90 degrees and now there's my grid for my crossword puzzle so I can go up here to view and where it says view the grid I don't need to see the grid anymore and you can see it disappeared. 
Now we're going to put our words in here for our crossword puzzle and we're going to make sure all the layers are locked. Select the top layer, insert layer, and the first word I'm going to use is called is rings, R-I-N-G-S. And I'm going to put it down here. So I want my text tool. I want to open my text box. Make sure static text is selected. I have times New Roman and regular. Let's embed the fonts now. Click here embed and click upper lower numbers punctuations and you can't see it but this is clicking OK. I made it 50 points so it will fit in my squares and these are the to help these are here just to help us make this this uh, crossword puzzle once we're finished this won't these won't be here anymore so I'm starting right here and I'm making a text box and that is going to be my letter for my art ring as in Lord of the Rings get my selection tool and use my arrow keys and just not being too fussy there's R text tool and I'm gonna oops text tool and I'm gonna write them all out first R got my cap locks on I I N G and S. I'm just putting these anywhere for now. Now I'm picking my selection tool up. There's the eye. Whoops. Grabbing the eye and putting it in roughly where I want it. Don't be fussy. But these are I N G S. And this is a slayer and calling it rings. I'm just going to call this my words. W O R D S. There's rings. Uh, next word is going to be men. Pick up the text tool again. M. I have my cap locks. Another one. E. Selection tool. The E I want here. And the M. I want here and I'll make a few more then I'll get back to you so I have just four words if four words will work then as many as you want can work and I have men rings games and theory that's what I have lock that words layer I'm going to respell it with the proper w o r d s words the next thing now you want to do is to start making the input text for these boxes where the person actually types in the letter. Select the top layer, make sure all the layers are locked. Select the top layer, insert a layer, call it words, W-O-R-D-S, and we're going to talk the ones that are horizontal and select frame one pick up your text tool open your text box if it isn't opened go to input text make sure that's select input here uh, times new roman regular and i'm changing the color to red and coming over here and i'm making a text box picking up my selection tool and over here where it says the width make sure this chain link is unlocked and make it 50 by 50 and now it will just fit get the cross hairs drag that over and put it right there get the cross hairs again right click copy that now right click paste in place using your arrow keys move it over to fit there right click paste in place again move it over to there and 
let's just test this for a minute. I have a spot there I can put a text, a spot there I can put a text, and a spot there I can put Good, that's good. Uh, right click, paste in place again. This time I want to drag it over to the G. And once more, paste in place and drag it over to the S. Now, if I copy all of them, get across here somewhere here. There it is. Right click, copy. Right click, paste in place. Use my arrow keys, bring that all down and put in that for my word theory. Should fit. Okay. Just pick this one up over here by itself. Get the crosshairs. Okay, I picked that one up. Right click, copy it. Right click, paste in place. And using my arrow keys. Let's just pick up one of those for a minute. There it is. Copy it. Lock this layer. Insert a layer. Words vertical. W O R D S V. And right click, paste in place. Go up, put that where the E is. Right click, paste in place. Put that up where the N is, M is. Now, if I can select those two, right click, copy, paste in place, bring them down with my arrow keys. Fill them in there. I don't need the G because the G's already done from the ring word. And just pick up one of them this time. Get the crosshairs. Copy. Paste in place. And arrow that down. So now I have, before I go further, I want to make sure that I can put something in each of those boxes. Control, test movie, test. Got my cap lock on. I'm just going to click and put anything in them. Put F's in all of them. Just make sure they work. And if these don't work, you want to not go ahead. You want to make sure these can work. So these can work. Now we want to give them names. So let's start where we're at. We're in the vertical words. Let's pick this M up. It's an input text, and it's going to be called MEN, capital M E N and it is the whoops got my cap lock on. It's men M E N and it's the M in men, so capital M underscore movie a uh, text T X T. Copy that name. Come down, click on the E, paste it in and change the M to an E. Don't do the N because the N is going to be working with this plane here. Okay, so now let's do this one here. This is going to be games, G-A-M-E-S, capital A because it's the A in games, underscore T-X-T. Copy this name. Here's the M. Paste it in. Change the A to an M. Copy that name again if you want. Select the S. Paste it in. And change the M to an S. We have the verticals done. Now we got to do the horizontals. Lock all the layers. Unlock the horizontal layer. Select frame 1. Let's start with the R. Capital R I N G S and it's an R. Capital R underscore T X T. Copy that. This one. Paste it in. Change the R to an I. 
select the in paste it change the R to an in paste it change the R to a G paste it and change the R to an S okay that's rings done now theory capital T so paste this oh we can we gotta write theory T A H E O R Y theory and it's the T capital T underscore T X T copy that select the next one paste it make the T and H paste it make the, the T and E paste it make the T and O so you can see why I only did a few words otherwise it would be very boring change the T to an R and paste it and change the T to a Y now I don't have any duplicate duplicate letters in any one word but let's say that this was actually a T instead of a Y I would code it because I already have this one coded theory T and if this was a T I would have called coded it theory T T then because I, I know there was two T's and it's the second one if there were three T's it would be theory T T T so now they're all coded now we can write action script I'm going to stop now there's going to be a follow-up video flash tutorial request 57 crossword puzzle part 2 if you plan on doing that part 2 save your FLA Hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.